to invest or export to Queensland, just as we will support any Queensland company that wishes to invest and export to India. So I want to acknowledge uh, Avanav and his team for everything they've done here uh, for Dr. Tanya. And I also wanted to acknowledge uh, Dr. Tanya's mother, who's with us today as well. I know how proud uh, Dr. Tanya's mother is of her as well. This is a wonderful day for your family. And uh, my time here in India has reinforced to me the value of family bonds, uh, which are so important in this culture as it is in our culture back in Queensland. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for being here today. And can I ask you to put your hands together for a great Queenslander and a great Indian project handler. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Manni Matri Ji, Murli Dharan Ji, request that they are two words for Dr. Tanya Ji. Adarni, Manni Mokhi Matri Murli Dharan Ji. A big round of applause. His Excellency uh, Mr. Cameron Dick, the Treasurer of Queensland, Dr. Dania, Ms. Sally Bhagat, friends, good morning and namaskar. I am delighted to be here in Mumbai today for this event and let me take this opportunity to welcome Excellency Mr. Cameron Dick to Mumbai the city of dreams and the key financial center of India. It's a pleasure having you here in India. I'm happy that this event comes immediately after the successful visit of the Prime Minister of Australia to India. I take this opportunity to appreciate Dr. Tanya Uni for taking up this project on the principles of Ayurveda. That's the traditional medicine of it. Ayurveda is closely linked to nature and the environment and finds rich mention in the ancient texts of India. Ayurveda leads to good health and a long life. It's a holistic human science and symbol of the thousands of years of India's traditional knowledge. Ayurveda is for the entire humanity. That's why we believe in Vasudeva Kutupaka. And as you know, this year when India is having the adorning the presidency of the G20, our Prime Minister has given the motto of one world, one family, one future. So the entire humanity is linked together. That's the slogan that India wants to give and that's the slogan that India has been believing in. That's why I said that Vasudeva Kutambaka is the motto of India. India is home to Ayurveda and is a treasure trove of herbal plants and it is our green gold. We use this natural wealth in the interest of humanity the government is continuously encouraging the production and promotion of herbal and medicinal plants. The government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi Ji has set up a national Ayush mission. This mission aims to promote Ayush medical systems including Ayurveda through cost effective means. It's also working to strengthen educational systems and facilitate environment enforcement of quality control of all forms of medicine including Ayurveda, Siddha, Unani and homeopathy drugs and ensuring sustainable availability of raw materials. I'm glad to note that the government's policy regarding Ayurveda and other Indian system of medicine is already aligned with the traditional medicine strategy of 2014-23 of the World Health Organization. And now this year, last year, a global center for traditional medicine was inaugurated in India, in the neighboring state of Maharashtra, that is Gujarat. And the Director General of uh, World Health Organization he came personally to inaugurate the uh, Global Centre for Traditional Knowledge. So this centre will be a repository of information about traditional medicine systems. Apart from encouraging more research, 
in traditional medicine. I am confident that the center will validate the wider use of Ayurveda in the coming days. I would also like to highlight what Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji said recently on Ayurveda and its growth. He said, and I quote him, there is a growing consciousness, particularly among youth, to integrate Ayurveda with evidence-based medical science. So that's what Dr. Tanya just now mentioned. Researchers and academicians should use the opportunity and put in more energy on this aspect. And I am sure that uh, Dr. Tanya is following on the call given by the Honorable Prime Minister and putting in efforts to see that the, the work goes on on evidence-based medical science. Ayurveda has to prove to the world and has, is, is already proving to the world that it is, a, it is an evidence-based science. So now the, the, in the field of cosmeceuticals, now she has initiated this uh, uh, new entrepreneurship, new venture and which is uh, the associated with health and wellness industries across the globe. Ayurveda is known for that. So the, the cosmeceutical industry which is being uh, initiated by Dr. Tanya, I am sure that will go a long way in developing the uh, trade and investment between India and Australia. And India and Queensland, we have very cooperation. During the last uh, year, there has been a an understanding, an announcement, there will be a summit level annual meetings between the Prime Ministers of India and Australia. And very recently, the, the Honorable Prime Minister, His Excellency Anthony Albanese, had his very successful visit to India. He came over to see the cricket match also. So it was cricket, culture and commerce as your excellency mentioned because he arrived on the day of Holi. So he arrived on the day of Holi, he had his whole face uh, smeared with colors uh, to welcome him. So I am sure that uh, this, uh, uh, your excellency's visit to India from Queensland and Dr. Tanya initiating such a venture that will definitely uh, be another milestone in increasing, enhancing the trade, investment and people-to-people -people connection between India and Australia, especially with India and Queensland. With these words, let me offer my best wishes to Dr. Tanya and also thank Excellency Cameron Dick, the treasurer of Queensland and other delegates who are here to join this great function. All the best to work. Thank you so much for the golden work and your blessing. Now I will return. A very good afternoon to all of you, honourable ministers on the dais, uh, Dr. Tanya, my very dear press friends, and all the guests who are present here. This is my second decade in the beauty industry. I started my journey as a teenager, as Miss India. So I'm usually hobnobbing with a lot of um, people from this industry, entrepreneurs, beauticians, actors, models. So you can say, this is my subject. <laughs> and I have seen a huge shift in the second decade of this beauty industry. As an Indian woman, I can say, and you will also agree with me that initially we would use maybe three or four and later they became the face wash so maybe five products beauty products every day yes auntie all, all the women agree somewhere in the teenage of course the face wash was there and then we come get this soap free whole product line that came in 
And now you'll be surprised. And I say this with statistics because I'm usually in so many of these beauty and uh, makeup expos that our products have certainly increased and have crossed 20. Our makeup products, wouldn't you agree it would just possibly be the um, eyeliner, a foundation, not even a foundation, maybe a compact powder and a lipstick? And now we have special cases for makeup. So you will agree that the uh, beauty industry has changed. And Dr. Tanya, you are here at the right time. And of course, as um, everything that has imparted knowledge, we all believe in Ayurveda. We've all uh, grown up seeing our grandmothers use something or recommend something. It's been there for centuries. But which is the right one? What is the right way? Is it tested? Is it certain? You know that we're investing so much of our time, of our research, and our money in these products. And if this research, this time, everything is invested by Dr. Tanya, I know that I'm going to Tanya for sure. So this is, this is, this, these are my two cents as um, somebody who's been a Vasindya and has been an actor. Um, as a part of my profile also includes being a philanthropist and an entrepreneur. I would like to say that Dr. Tanya, I'm mildly jealous, honestly. I did mention that uh, <laughs> To, to Honorable Minister Cameron here that uh, I'm mildly jealous of Tanya that she has like a whole arsenal of an army of, of people backing her out there. Now, there, there. There's so many women entrepreneurs, small, medium. They're, they're, they're somewhere in their houses, just shy and coy, and maybe wanting just possibly their family to support them a little bit. And here she comes with this whole army. Yeah, I, so I think this is not just the right time for the product, Dr. Tanya, this is also the right time for you. And um, thank you so much to uh, Minister Murli Dharan and uh, Minister Cameroon for coming here to support women. Thank you. I couldn't be thankful and I, and I couldn't say this enough how much especially Indian women need to be picked out of there and say, babe, you've got talent. A woman, dear woman, you have talent out there. You know something that the world needs. I work with so many of them and I know we could use this help. And if men of such stature are offering this help, I think this is an example. I'm sure my press friends will take our message ahead and this will encourage all the women out there in India all the doctors out there in India to be somebody like Dr. Tanya. Dr. Tanya, we wish you all the very best. May, may this whole room, this whole uh, universe conspire and manifest all, all that you have dreamed for your brand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And also, I would